Before I'm going to start with my presentation, I would like to use this opportunity to express my thanks to organizers for inviting me on such important conference. As you can see, the title of my presentation today is Monitoring of Health Outcomes within the National Cancer Control Plan, and obviously I'm going to talk about Croatian Plan. So the cancer is a major public health issue affecting millions in the world, with about more than 18 million new diagnosed patients per year, and unfortunately close to 10 million dying out of cancer. And within that um, uh, world um, gloom picture, Europe is the epicenter of the problem. And you can see that in Europe we have about 9% of global population and unfortunately about 20% of global cancer mortality. So from that perspective, we can define Europe as underserved from the cancer perspective. But within the Europe, we have even more underserved despair areas such as Central and Eastern Europe. You can see on this slide that while mortality is bigger in Central and Eastern Europe, incidence is larger in Western European countries. So mortality to incidence ratio defining that patients diagnosed with cancer are dying more oftenly in our region. And within that region, there is a Croatia, the last country without plan in um, European Union. But this is going to be changed in days or weeks because our uh, plan is ready and it's about to be signed soon, hopefully. So what I would like to end up with this introductionally part is with um, cancer care disparities. So we can define these disparities in two groups, patient-related and system-related. And you can see why outcomes could be wrong or bad because of patients being um, old age, uh, with bad cognitive status, um, with a low socioeconomical status, you name. On the other side, there is a system reasons why some patients are going to have worse outcomes than others. So what do we do in order to improve outcomes? We are having a plans. So we are defining, as far as the cancer is concerned, national cancer plans. So every country has to have plan in order to address their specific issues. So the National Cancer Control Plan must be properly resourced to ensure timely and comprehensive implementation. And that is the problem that many are facing. According, you, according to WHO, what is the National Cancer Control Plan is the program designed to reduce incidence and mortality of the cancer with good quality of life through systemic and equitable implementation of evidence-based measures or strategies but making the best use of available resources. Every country is having different resources. So this is the now the time to start to talk about Croatian National Plan that we have been working on last um, couple of years. And I'm proud to say that our plan, or within our plan is plan to reach the, let's say, level of excellence that Western European countries do have now regarding the uh, quality of life of cancer patients, uh, length of survival of cancer patients, and um, um, more or less um, um, the outcomes of um, ours to be comparable to theirs. So when we analyze other plans, so there are many, many countries with a plan, we understood what uh, Romero and co-workers uh, published in Lancet Oncology, that there are remaining challenges in implementation of cancer plans, and they can uh, be uh, described through the bad monitoring and reporting. More or less, we are missing outcomes of those plans or treatments of cancer, and of course, uh, uh, the implementation is issue. So what we understood working on our plan is that um, major improvement can be achieved through the investment in oncology infrastructure, meaning digital digitalization of oncology, uh, registry of everything, uh, real world data basis, um, that will give us opportunity to um, monitor and report and publish that um, 
to be able to compare different regions, different institutions, different physicians, different countries, and obtain better results for our patients. Everything started with this. So we published this um, uh, paper, um, let's say seminal paper, a couple of years ago, where we realized that Czech Republic is performing much better than Slovak Republic with double less money spent per new cancer patient. The question was, how come? What is the base for that? We digged a little bit, we found only one reason, and that is excellent cancer registry that Czech Republic do have. So what they measure is, for example, incidence and mortality in real time in their patients. Main, um, um, let's say, trends in uh, stage of cancer diagnosis. What they are measuring is uh, in, um, impact of new drugs on overall survival and progression-free survival, five-year survival rates in different institutions, or how good their general practitioners are in implementation of early detection uh, programs. So finally, what is the idea is that uh, uh, in past, uh, patient journey was without networking, monitoring, and reporting, and we Based on that, diagnosed patient late, we treated usually by location only. We did have challenge in access, and as a consequence, all knowledge that we generated uh, were buried in the patient and uh, in their physicians. Today, with the um, um, you know start of the implementation of digitalization or IT in the medicine, we are starting to uh, diagnose our patient earlier. We are having more personalized care, and we can, uh, of course, generate more data and knowledge together. But the future is going to be much brighter. We are going to see patient better. We are going to be able to address, address patient needs uh, on much better way and have much better outcomes as well. So this is the future that I'm foreseeing in Croatian National Cancer Plan, but as well as in Europe. As I said earlier, Europe is very much underserved now, and I'm pretty much sure that we can together organize ourselves, join marriage between the oncology and IT in order to make Europe as a leader in um, quality control, reporting and monitoring uh, of oncology outcomes in the world. Recently, even more recently, um, uh, uh, together with uh, Mark Lovler and Richard Sullivan, I published this article um, about cancer and COVID. How do we manage cancer in the time of crisis? And um, what we have um, uh, defined in that article is that one pandemic can induce another or can uh, change outcomes on the worst if we will not um, uh, define that or address that on the time. At that time, I tried to get uh, results from Croatian Cancer Registry, and I was told that uh, we cannot have the results uh, sooner than about year to two, with delay of year to two. A uh, couple of weeks after that article, this article was published from Netherlands, where they are showing that um, incidence or number of newly diagnosed cancer patients weekly dropped by 35% based on the lockdown measures um, induced in Netherlands. Most probably, I, be, I will say almost certainly, all other countries are facing similar Problem. So what this uh, is about is not only that we need to monitor and um, report outcomes, we need to monitor and report outcomes in real time today, especially in the time of crisis. So let me go back to the National Cancer Control Plan of Croatia. You can see NCCP in numbers, uh, so many measures, stakeholders, objectives, groups and we, it took us three years to finalize it and I'm also using this opportunity to thank the foreign experts uh, helping us to make it better. What is the specificity of Croatian National Cancer Control Plan is that um, we have, uh, I'm sorry for this, um, we have specific uh, issues defining the need of national comprehensive cancer network first so all Croatian oncology is going to be put in one network. We, need, we are going to have excellent quality control, reporting and monitoring. And we have one unique thing that no, no other plans do have, 
integrated NCCP cost effectiveness analysis. So why that uh, cost effectiveness analysis? We believe and we, our vision is that we sure, uh, should ensure that all measures proposed in the NCCP and their respective combined outcomes should lead to reasonable level of cost effectiveness from both the payer and soci societal perspectives. So what we are looking for is to change destiny of our patients. You can see on this slide that, for example, now in Croatia we have 60% um, uh, probability of that of male diagnosed with cancer, while in the same time in Denmark we have just 31%, so double less than in our case. In our cost-effective analysis, in our pharmacoeconomical analysis of plan, we propose to spend 200 million euros within the 10 year span and based on that expenditure we are going to save 5,300 persons not developing cancer, 7,000 patients are not going to die because of diagnosing cancer earlier and treating them better. Altogether we are going to save 113,000 lives, years of life, I'm sorry, years of life. If you Declining or decreasing that number by a um, quality factor of 30%, you will end up with 88,000 years of quality, perfect quality, and cost per quality gain will be just 1,345 euros. So if we are going to underestimate um, um, outcomes and un uh, overestimate um, um, cost um, per quality, you will end up with less than 2,000 um, uh, euros per quality, meaning that we are much less than uh, uh, WHO is recommending, and that is less than 38,000 euros per quality. So to end up with is, um, uh, we are small country, but small countries can do big things, and all of you do understand that uh, and know that these guys believed in themselves and they did miracle on the last world championship. On the other side, I believe that we can do the same in the National Cancer Control Plan and um, that we can show that um, um, we can do it and that we should never ever give up because we are doing such a great thing. So once again, thank you for listening and wish you all best.